Hello my learner, this is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified on grade 4 Science and Technology. We will continue with the functions of different parts of the digestive system on human body. And to start with, on our previous lessons in our chart here, in pairs, can you look at this chart? Please, it has a digestive system. Pay attention, John and Esther. From the mouth, after the food has been chewed, broken into small particles, we said it has to travel down the esophagus in boluses. And once it comes to the stomach, it mixes with hydrochloric acid and the gastric juice produced by the stomach. And digestion of proteins takes place in the stomach. After two to three hours, it continues to go down the duodenum, that is the upper part of the small intestines, where fats and oils are broken down or digested by the bile juice and pancreatic juice. And the food goes down again to the ileum, the lower part of the small intestines. It is then redigested and absorbed to the body through the villi, which are the finger-like projections. Then the small intestines now, it is joined with the large intestine from here. We have the large intestines all the way down here. And these large intestines, what is the work? Now the undigested and absorbed food now goes in to the large intestines. And the large intestines is divided into two parts. The longest part or the large part is the colon and the smaller part is the rectum. Now we look at the work of the colon. Colon is the main part of the large intestines. In our groups, if I may ask, what is the function of large intestines in digestive system? Can we pay attention to what Esther and Victoria are saying? It is the main part of the large intestine. Water and mineral salts are absorbed in colon. Water and mineral salts are absorbed in colon. Remember when we take food, we normally take water afterwards or we drink water after we have finished eating. That water now and the mineral salts, the salt that you had in your food, they are absorbed now here in the large intestines, a part called colon. No digestion takes place in colon. No digestion, remember in colon, we said digestion ends in ileum. And now, if there is no digestion, what about the other part of, small, of large intestine? That now brings us to part B, which is the rectum. In our groups, what is the function of rectum? Rectum, it stores food, the undigested food temporarily. It stores, it stores temporarily. It stores temporarily undigested food. It stores temporarily undigested food before they are being adjusted. Before digestion. It stores temporarily the undigested food waiting to be taken away from our body. That is the work of the rectum. And the rectum we have said is the lower part. Lower part of the large intestine that is the work of the rectum and then we have the final part of our digestive system we call it anus anus is the last part it is an opening to the outside and this opening it is the last part of digestive system it is the last part last part of digestive system of digestive system Anus being the last part of digestive system, its work is to help to remove the undigested food. It helps to remove, remove undigested food. It helps remove undigested food from our body. From our body. 
from our bodies in a process called in a process called I had mentioned it the process earlier in a process called a question in a process called a question and that is the end of digestion now class in our groups I may ask questions can you name confidently the part and the functions of digestive system or the alimentary canal we've said the digestion begins from the mouth the digestion begins from the mouth where starch is digested after the mouth has teeth which tears or breaks food particles into smaller particles then it mixes with saliva to form boluses which goes down the esophagus or the gullet in ball like forms forming a waves which we call them a process called peristalsis up to the stomach and once in the stomach it mixes with hydrochloric acid together with the gastric juice produced by the stomach and we say the work of the hydrochloric acid is to kill any germ that could be there in the food then and the and gastric juice then digest proteins then after stomach the food stays there for two to three of three to four hours and remember when the food mixes with the juices in the stomach it is like a porridge it looks like porridge and we say the mixture or the solution is called the chyme then it goes down the upper part of the small intestines which we call it duodenum mixing with the by the, gall, uh, the, the bile juice from the gallbladder produced by the liver and pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Then it breaks fats and oils into small particles or into absorbable particles. Then it is goes down to the lower part of the small intestine, the largest part which we call it the ileum. Then in the ileum we said it is very long, about seven meters long and coiled to increase surface area for redigestion and absorption of food and to make absorption easier we say the small intestines are finger-like projections they look like our fingers the projections inside the small intestines looks like our fingers the reason is to increase surface area for easy absorption of food and digestion of food ends at small intestines and for today we have said large intestines which have the upper part called colon and the other lower part called rectum the upper part water and mineral salts are absorbed in the upper part which is the colon and then the lower part the undigested now goes down to rectum where they are stored temporarily waiting to be taken away from our body a process called digestion through the anus and that is the hand of digestion now class i have an activity for us to embark on activity for us to do when you go home with the help of your parents kindly model the digestive system model the digestive system model the digestive system any question class that marks the end of our lesson on digestive system let us meet again kwaherini